fade in. Hello, I am Michelle. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Forcify Entertainment. Well, Lucasfilm is at it again. Uh, this coming off the hills of them trying to, to correct the fact, or in, in their mind, a fact that the Bad Batch is so white, kind of like the Emmys a few years ago. Well, now, according to Bounding Into Comics, Star Wars has officially made a beloved character from 1980 and 1983, Lando Calrissian. He is now officially a part of the LGBTQ plus com community, and he is specifically in that community a plus because I guess he is pansexual, but he's going to be, according to this article, he is going to be on the cover. They're going to do, I believe, six covers that are for, I'm guessing they're for, for Pride Month that is coming. Isn't that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, it's that, June, I think. That are for Pride Month that are coming. And, you know, the issue, you know, we have several people that watch us on a regular basis that would be a part of this community. Uh, the thing that I think everyone's kind of thinking with this. Is but why? But why with this character? Like, why now? Why? You know. Because you're basically having to, no, you're not basically, you are retconning a beloved character from 1980 and 1983 that showed no signs of liking anyone other than women. In fact, Lando, when you first meet him, is just the ultimate ladies man. He's very smooth. He, he, well, what do we have here when he sees Leia? And in fact, at one point, Han notices that he's into Leia. So he takes Leia by the arm like this and it looks at Lando like, I see you and she's with me. Like that. Right. that's how that interaction goes. That's how we first meet Lando. And at no point, because a, a pansexual, and, and I really would like to hear in the comments later as we get going from some of some of you that, that we uh, talk to, whether Twitter or here on a regular basis that are a part of this community, because... It's just, do you see this in Lando's character? I mean, yeah, honestly, what? That, that would be a great question. Like for people in the community, like, did you, did you think of him this way? Like, because I don't, I've never known anyone to think of Lando this way because you don't see. So to be pansexual and that's what I was going to say, I've never met anyone pansexual. I, you know, I, I know plenty of people who identify as gay or lesbian, uh, some bisexuals. I've never known a pansexual. Uh, yeah. So leave in the comments below if you've ever met a pansexual uh, that identifies as a pansexual. Because it's kind of like when you take a beloved character and you retcon, because that's what you're having to do. Because we don't see, like in the original trilogy, that Lando is like looking at Han one day or Luke or yeah. even maybe even Chewbacca. And he's like, man, Chewie's looking good today. Right. Like, you don't see that in Lando's character. Again, you just kind of see this ladies' man that is the smooth, silky type of personality. And the only thing we see, you know, to indicate any of this would be in Disney Star Wars. Yeah, when, well, definitely. When it's young Lando and he is... Well, uh, that's where this started. Okay. Because I believe it was... Uh, what Donald... Is it Donald Glover? Yeah, Donald Glover. I believe he said... That, that he's the first one who made the the said that Lando was pansexual, but even that you're just kind of going back. Just, and like, where did he conclude this from? Yeah, and it's just kind of like, was it really cool to make Lando attracted to a robot, like in a in a in a movie that? <laughs> just kidding, I don't judge. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> It's just kind of, that's absurd. But here's my what's, thing. What's awkward, can I just say, is like when uh, somebody's like, how does that work? And she's like, oh, it works. She's like, and, it and as the audience, you're like, oh, okay. But how? here, here's the Anyways. point I'm getting of why this is ridiculous. You're retconning a beloved character, again, from 1980, 1983. Disney had a whole new trilogy. Why didn't you put a character, make a character in this community if that's what you wanted to do? Right. Why are you going back yeah, like to to a, a, a beloved character and retconning when we've never seen any of that and changing something about, about his character? Like, why are you trying to rewrite the character, basically? Exactly. Why are you touching specifically George Lucas's baby of the original trilogy that started all of this? which is why Disney wanted to purchase it because of the success of this original trilogy. 
why not just do your own character? It's just, it's very yeah, odd. I mean, it's easy enough to do. And it, the, here's what I'm getting at. It just shows yet again, whether it's them with racial stuff, they pander. They don't really care about any of this. That's, that's the truth. It's just such pandering. And anyone, and I'm sure I have a feeling many of you who probably even are in this community probably see it. That is, it's just pandering at this point. Like they don't really care. Just like, you know, they make all these racial things, like they're, they stand for racial injustice. And yet again, this past week, they were caught removing Finn, John Boyega's character from something. Just this week they did that, guys. Guys, to put it simply, <laughs> it's kind of like the government. <laughs> <laughs> they really pretend and pander to care about you, but at the end of the day, they don't. They're like the empire, guys. They are. They, they tell the people that they'll help them, but they don't. <laughs> that, that's kind of what it is. But I, I just thought this was, story was so interesting because it's just, again, it's just a case of Disney pandering to a crowd. And again, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Who are you pandering to by making this beloved character pansexual? Again, I've never met a pansexual person. I've never I've met people of different of different uh, that that fall into a different category of that community. Never met a pansexual in my life. Uh, you know, leave I mean, I can't say that I have either. So, so what percent are you trying to appeal to by going back and touching an old one? You're now making a lot of people just aggravated that you when changed yeah, a beloved character. Potentially annoying more people. I yes, think. than you are like bringing people into it. And it, again, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, you know, like I told Michelle, like this, you know, like somebody is, if somebody's going to be like, oh, Lando, you know, he is pansexual. Well, now I'm going to watch Star Wars for the first time. Now I'm into it. And for I mean, maybe that'll happen, but. Yeah, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. It's a reach. Okay? The, the fact that you go back to George Lucas, for, for starters, they just shouldn't touch George Lucas characters as far as making some big change to them. Right. Uh, it, that's why, guys, I just recently, this book came onto Amazon, a Legends book, uh, extended universe book that had never been sold before. And, and it's selling like hotcakes on Amazon. If you haven't gone this yet, Star Wars, The Heart of a Jedi, I believe it came out in 1993. But it's just kind of like, we're just hungry for our beloved heroes. You know, before Luke was trying to kill his nephew, before Han was abandoning his wife and child, and before Leia was just left in the mess that it is, and apparently before Lando was a pansexual. That's kind of what we all want. Uh, it's just kind of the old Star you, you Wars. Got me, <laughs> That that's well what we're presented. That's what we're looking for. And and again, and, and and we you know really appreciate many of you that are in this community and that some of you that are, are really good supporters of this channel. Uh, we love all of you. We do. We love all of you. It's just this is there was no point of this. Like just create your own character. This goes back to that's another conversation, but just so many things right now where you retcon things or try to just switch things out, like just leave things the way they were and make something new. So that, that's the route we're saying you should go if you're going to go that route. So I'd love to hear everybody's opinions on this, but especially <laughs> kind of like if you really, if you are part of that community, to, I, I would love to know like your thoughts on something like this. Yes, but I can just tell you most people aren't going to be thrilled that you touched Billy D. Williams' creation of Land and George Lucas' creation together, they brought this wonderful character, beloved character of Lando, who is just a silky smooth ladies' man. I mean, he's like, Lando could sell, he's like a used car salesman. I mean, he really is in a way. But yeah. I mean that actually in a, in, a, in a lovable way. He's a lovable car salesman. He's just silky smooth, guys. Billy D. brought that. Well, and Carl Weathers, you know, I think he just, his voice was. Uh... That's Carl Weathers. That's not Lando. Oh, no. Billy D. Williams. Billy D. <laughs> yeah, Billy D. Williams. <laughs> okay, I, I had a mess up in my brain. I knew what I meant. Yes, it didn't come, it out, did, didn't come out the right way. Billy D. Yeah, it's not Carl Weathers. Yeah, and even his betrayal of Lando in the Rise of Skywalker. Okay, in yeah. the Rise of Skywalker, it was just Lando again. It was just that confident guy that again just seemed attracted to women only. Yeah, because if he was pansexual, I feel like we would have seen that in the original trilogy. Again, he would have been like, I mean, he had Han and Luke to choose from right there. He's not attracted to either one of them if that's what he is. 
but he was really attracted to Leia. We know well, that. I wouldn't limit it to a couple people. I mean, no, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying he probably would have been attracted to one of the two if he's if he's attracted to a robot. <laughs> I mean, maybe well, he only likes did, female did, robots. Did C three PO not do for him? <laughs> so, <laughs> His personality was too annoying. Uh, <laughs> so it's just, it's just kind of Disney just just pandering yet again. And I think you see it, whether it's John Boyega, just all yeah. this different stuff, the thing they did for trans uh, vision day or whatever it was call, called. Everyone's seen the pandering and just the force thing they're doing to try to fit this narrative. And it doesn't work. And again, Tell me when you know it's pandering, can, can it really, everyone knows it's pandering. Can it really be that endearing? I mean, really. no, it's not. If they, if I can just tell, Again, even say, here's a, here's as a, just a female. Let me speak as a female for an example. When Marvel and Endgame, when they did the such wink, wink, it's all the women movement, was I like, yeah. No, I was like, man, that's cheesy. Yeah. Like, that, that's just what I thought. Yeah, um, has When the Mandalorian did it, they did it in a good way. Yes. It felt natural. Right. And that's kind of what we're saying here. This isn't natural. This no. wasn't Lando's character. It's manufactured. It's manufactured. Just make your own character yeah. if that's what you want to do. Right. Uh, you have, you own it. You can create as many characters as you want a part of that community if that's what you want to do. Yeah. But but that's kind of it, guys. I just saw that article and it was like, Disney doing Disney things, messing. Because if Disney, ha actually, I feel they have figured this out. It almost feels like they're trying to intentionally tick off their fans. Like, they know that we don't like when they mess with the original trilogy characters, whether it's Lando or any of them. We yeah. just don't like when they touch them. So it's like, are you trying to annoy people? I think they are. <laughs> they're, they're trying. Let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah, let us know you guys' thoughts below. Again, we, we uh, love and appreciate everyone. It's just, why mess with Lando at this point? Because that wasn't his character. Right. But that's it for this episode. But guys, as always, remember to be a force of light. All right.